Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tishri, Embryologist, Garbhaguri IVF Center. So, have you ever wondered who you are, what makes you you and what excites you and what inspires you? So, why I am asking all these questions? So, these are the questions which, which be very important while you are about to choose a career or you are going to choose a career, okay? So, uh, I am here to help you out to choose embryology as a career. So, being an embryologist, what are my experiences regarding it? Through that only, I will speak about it. Okay, so what is in career? So, career is something which, uh, which have your interest, which uh, excites you whenever you think about it or something uh, which ignites your imagination or channels your ability. So, if, when we talk about abilities, it is different for every person. Right? So because every brain is different and it is fundamentally different uh, for every person. So, here if you are going to choose embryology as a career, then this video would really help you with that. So, what is embryology? Embryology is study of prenatal development of gametes and embryos and fetuses. So, who is embryologist? So, embryologist is someone who have in-depth knowledge of the same and they carry out this, uh, this all these procedures in, in in vitro condition. So, in vitro condition means what? Laboratory condition. So, when we go to laboratory, we nurture, a, we develop our embryo, we make them, we nurture them to cell stages and then we transfer them to a uh, patient. So, when we transfer them to the patient, then the uh, fetus develop inside the in vivo condition and then a baby borns. Okay. So, basically this is the job of an embryologist uh, to nurture and to develop an embryo to the cell stage. Okay. So, they have, they are amazingly, immensely knowledgeable persons who who take care of all these things. They have a fine motor control. They have uh, knowledge of uh, like in-depth knowledge of risk assessment. Okay. So we will see like how uh, the embryologists help the society. They help by gaining knowledge about the ART procedures and they work with gynecologists in hand in hand and they help infertile couple to achieve a bundle of joy. So, this is a very noble work, I can say. And how, how it goes, how the uh, cases are there, according to the market survey, we will see. So, the uh, ISAR consensus says that, that in India, there is like one couple in every six couple is suffering from infertility. So, there is really a need of this uh, embryologist who can help other infertile couples to gain uh, gain or I can say to achieve this happiness okay of having a child then we will come like how it is rising so this is rising because of the uh, as I told like it because of the unhealthy lifestyle which are followed these days and we are uh, so much acquainted with the social media this internet wi-fi this also affects the uh, fertility of a uh, couple okay and next uh, how india in india how the market is so in india it is rising as i told uh, as it is told in the isar consensus that one in every six couple is uh, suffering from this uh, infertility so in india it is quite a remarkable number and uh, how like India is also serving as a very cheap healthcare center. So from foreign also uh, patients are coming towards India to get this treatment of IVF. So India has a quite a good market uh, of embryology, you can say. So let us move. What is the role and responsibility of the uh, embryologist? So the roles and responsibilities comes uh, like uh, we work in the laboratory condition. So to maintain the quality, QAQC of the laboratory, then uh, to do all sorts of procedures like ovum pickup, uh, transfer, and then ICSI, IVF. We uh, do all sorts of procedures and then uh, we also do like genetic testing of the embryos, assisted hatching. So these are all the roles and responsibilities of an 
uh, embryologist then coming to the educational qualification that who can become a embryologist so an embryologist can be anyone who has completed her master's degree in life sciences background it could be zoology biology or uh, microbiology any kind of life sciences background or it could be also uh, medical backgrounds like mbbs bds bams and uh, also uh, who have done their veterinary in uh, like uh, veterinary sciences who have done the bachelors they can also go for the masters degree of uh, and there is uh, specifically a degree uh, which is the masters of clinical embryology so that is also to be done uh, before uh, being an embryologist so these are all the qualification which should be uh, achieved by a person to become an embryologist so we at gzrhr understands the need to train the youngsters as trained embryologists so that they can help the world with this infertility infertility issue so thanking you i would invite you uh, to this such a dynamic field where you can explore yourself as an embryologist so if you are really interested to build your career as an embryologist please do contact us thank you